morning guys just coming on a bit of a mooch um, just well, finish off this mole job really we'll go and see him and I uh, thought I'd go on a bit of a mooch with the dogs um, see what we can find really got my old snip see if we can see any forks got a catapult which I made not last night really this morning it's a nice little ash cut I picked up around the pond a super size pan so a few shots of that the cows are out We've had a good bit of rain, so that's pretty good. And uh, just down by a river spot here. It's a nice little river. It goes into the clivid. And you do get some nice little brooks out in here, you know. So I got the dogs. We'll have a walk, see what we can find. Yeah, it was a pheasant. Obviously out of season now, so I won't be shooting him. But he must have squatted in the grass, just out of instinct really. There's not much cover there for him, so... A bit of wind or something. Is it, bud? Is it, bud? Is it then? The old dog don't lie. Something moving in there. Is it? Get it out. Get it out then. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, I think it was a pheasant. Good lad. Good lad. I think it was that cock pheasant that was in the field. It fluttered and it didn't really seem too fit, really. I don't know if it had been clipped or been injured. It's only made it to this hedge and then it's usually quite fit and um, go a few fields away, don't they? But where's it, bud? The old clover's coming up now. Dogs always seem to eat it. I think, I can't remember now what the word was. But it's got the certain oxides, is it? A certain, certain chemical, what the... Seem to favour, you know, a lot of the dogs tend to eat grass, even the terriers at it. Go on then. The dogs are quite key marking, and they'll only really mark rabbits and the odd fox, really, so. There's a few bunnies in there, probably. Is it flow? Is it flow? Is it then? Is it then? Dogs are really keen at the end here. A bit further down. Which tells me, pretty sure it's the old fox. We've had quite a lot of rain the past few days, so he's, he's probably dropped in the end of this old warren. Just for keeping dry, really. But, uh, yeah, obviously for the purpose of YouTube, you're not actually allowed to use more than two dogs to hunt a fox. But uh, at least you know where he is now if the farmer needs him shifting. It is a cattle farm, so I don't think he does much lambs, but you know, the old pheasant feathers about. Mm. Turns out it was, um, was the old fox. Uh, I walked down the edge with a whippet, waiting for the terrier, because obviously she's sunk in there. Um, she bolted and went up the top the terriers lined her for a minute so there we go I'll let the farmer know about that like I said I don't think he's doing much damage here it's mainly cattle but obviously I noticed a few pheasant feathers I don't think there's any shoots local 
But there you go, bit of a fox uh, hunt there, but like I say, we're not, obviously not supposed to do foxes with uh, more than two dogs. By law, you can use two dogs to hunt for, to a gun, or you can trap them and rifle shoot them, you know, but we're not out to get foxes, we're out on a mooch. But there you go, Terry's had a bit of fun, so I'll wait for him to come back now, and I'm gonna go to uh, another spot, um, and as it's just starting to rain as well, so I'll have another bit of a mooch at another spot, and then get back home for some, some lunch, and I think. come back. Bit of a cut on his nose. Right at the top of the edge there, she went. So I'll leave her in peace for a bit. <coughs> He's had a bit of work. And we'll carry on. <laughs> Get over. Got an old can up. Track. I see one. Looks a nice fork. Get in and have a look, see if it's any any good. Well, it look good from that side. If you turn it over, it's obviously had a branch that's split off. It may still be strong enough. We could probably take this bark off it and get back, but probably not worth it really being exposed like that I do feel it's quite soft so shame really got some followers <laughs> guess there's young cattle on here let's we'll see what we can uh, see Pip. see what we can find down here I did have a try look for some some nests really good time of year for nesting we've got a few ducks coming off so yeah, see if we can find any. <laughs> Tip. Nice bit of river here, like I say. Uh, does hold a few brook trout. It's an air pip. <laughs> is it, is it, is it, is it? The sun's come out now as well, stop raining. <laughs> Bit of an old pump, pump works. You know, smell of garlic. I think I might get myself some of that. So, Pip, little break, are you? There you go, get myself some wild garlic. You throw it in a few dishes. So I might have a little look in here for any any nests really or forks. And then I'm getting hungry now after that garlic smell. <laughs> we'll get back and get some lunch then. Love. A lot of hazel sticks here. And some crackers. Pheasant 
there, is he? Just up the end of this edge. Mainly see cock this time of year, obviously the ends are probably on wild nests. But due to the lockdown, I think many, many shoots, there he goes. Many shoots that have uh, closed down, aren't they, for the well, for the next season? Yeah, the old ends will be on nests and stuff, I suppose. <clears throat> Saying that, they just put a hen up, not far from the old cock there, so. Got him. Packers at home, I think. There's cockles in the field. Bit of an old barn, eh? We'll have a look in here, see what we can find. Up there. I thought I could hear a pheasant, there he is running. <laughs> the old dog likes the old uh, bird or two. It's a good old, good old building this one. Probably be on the nest there. There we go, nice little bit of a mooch. Just sat on the old bridge. I'm gonna get myself home now, get some food. Um, didn't really see many rabbits or squirrels or anything, but got a bit of bird life. Seen the odd fox, the old Charlie. Through me set there, got a bit of garlic. Which I'll, um, I'll do with a bit of meat to go with it, really, but see what we can rustle up with it. There we go guys, nice bit of a mooch that, a little bit of garlic, that's about it, what, what, what I got today. Um, but yeah, nice little mooch, bit of bird life, not many rabbits or squirrels. I've uh, just been and seen the farmer then, sat me up for some of the moles we've been clearing. And um, you know, he did sort of mention, oh, I don't really want any foxes on. I think his son breeds um, chickens, um, like show chickens and stuff like that. but. Obviously, I won't be really hunting him this time of year anyway, but uh, just to let him know that there is a couple on. But there we go. Nice little mooch. The dogs have had a good run. I'm going to get myself home. I'll get some food. And uh, I believe I've got to pick up a nice cask of ale today from one of the local pubs that have obviously closed down due to the pandemic. So I think I'll be having a few of them tonight. Uh, and hopefully I'm going to do a bit of a video on some traps um, later. So... Uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. But uh, like, share and subscribe and have a good day.